Welcome to the Chicago Bears Podcast. A presentation of ESPN Chicago, Chicago's home for sports. Here's your host, Pat, the designer. This is the the part that McKee told me that I have to personally ask you about because Lance, okay. he told a story, okay, about Adrian Peterson, yeah, rookie season, yeah, versus you all. So seven AP put up two hundred and twenty four rushing yards, three Stats. touchdowns. True story. And ran the open and ran the kickoff to uh, in overtime to uh, set up the game winning field goal. As a sure defensive did. player, yeah. what were you thinking the day that you saw Adrian? Peterson what was I thinking that day? Dominated. I was listen. That was first time I ever got two loaves in one play. I got two <laughs> loaves in one play. I got a loaf. Uh, it was a toss to Adrian Peterson, and I got cut. And so I got a. Um, I got cut and I got, so I got a loaf for falling right. and I'm thinking he's gone, you know, so I'm a loaf for staying on the ground. And then he turns and comes back my direction. So as he comes my, my direction, I'm like, Oh shoot, I might be able to make play. I try to get up and I dive. I miss him again and watch him run all the way to the end zone. Uh, so I got a lot of loaves in one play. It was, it was a poor effort on my part. And had I been up and running to the ball, we might have been able to prevent that. You, you might have stopped one of those uh, one of those three touchdowns that day. What was it? What yep. was it like? What was it like? Just just seeing a. What was y'all mindset? I guess going into that game as a defense, right? Thinking, listen, everybody, he he running, but he's still a rookie. He's not that guy yet. Well, they, you know, their their scheme and what they what they were doing um, with a running back like that, it was just it, it was great. You know, if you can get guys in front of you that are busting their tail to help you get into that end zone. And then you have Adrian Peterson that's behind them. That's like, just give me an inch, you know, give me an inch and I'm going to bust right through, you know? So it's a combination of a lot of good football, a lot of good offense, offensive plays, the, the way that they ran it, you know, uh, coming out, you know, blocking and, and just getting in front of people and just allowing Adrian to, to go full steam ahead. Uh, it was, uh, you know, when you go back and you watch it, I mean, it, it was impressive what they did. Um, I had, and I had it, to after Jason talked about it. I said, I got to go see this game. I remember this, but I don't yeah. remember 224 yards. Hey, listen, tell Jay Mack, all right, since we're talking about the Vikings, <laughs> ask, him about, ask him about the game right before halftime that uh, that that the Vikings took him to church, all right? Just as uh, a game <laughs> that the Vikings took him to church and right before the half, and it had all of us were on a knee. We were on a knee. Uh, like we were at chapel, we were on a knee and we were praying. Now, uh, ask him if he remembers this game. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. We got shots back and forth. Write that down mm -hmm. there. You're right. We got shots going back and forth. Oh, yeah. here's, here's the thing, though. Let, let, as as a as as stout of a defense as you guys were, right? Yeah. When he gets when he gets to a hundred, and there's still a lot of game left. What's going through your mind? <laughs> Well, our, one of our goals defensively is to hold the runner under 100 yards, you know, yeah. hold the offense under 200 yards. So a lot of times we always you always look up to see, you know, oh, he's got 48 yards going into half. OK, good. Oh, he's got 80 yards going in half. Ah, we got to we have to be really stout in the second half. You know, when you look up and he's already got 123 yards and we're just starting the second quarter. Like, you know, no sense in looking up there anymore. You know, this is. <laughs> Uh, he's out the gates now. He's 88 out the gate. Uh, it's it's disheartening, but you know what, man? It, it's it's the stuff that uh, <laughs> it's the stuff that you have to grow from. You know, you got you got to grow from this stuff, man. That's 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 the way it goes. You know, we we have to have a. It's going to leave a bad taste in our mouth, but we will see this team again. And when we do, we're going to make sure that he doesn't get run for 224 yards. This this is the part that really stood out to me when I watched the game. Was like. It wasn't like y'all just were like, okay, anything else. Like, like nobody else did nothing. It was just him. Like I'm sure like the, the offensive lineman playing well, stuff like that. But like I literally watched that game and I was like, it was just him. Like, is he the best 
running back that you ever got the chance to play against? Is he is he number one for you? Probably so. Yeah, 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 for sure. He, for he sure. where's where's he rank all time for you in the in the running back? Uh, in the running back. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about. I don't. I don't know. He's up there. He's de- he's definitely up there. You know. I'm. Shoot, man. Uh, you top know. 10? I was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's absolutely a top ten. He's absolutely a top ten. Cracking that top five. I don't know. Listen. You know. That's that's. You know. I, he's definitely top ten. Yeah. Might even be f- top five. But you know. He's he's one of the best backs in the history of the game. Yeah. He was. He Get was. Hands in. It was. It was tough because he was the matchup that I remember watching and just being like, we can do everything perfect and he can still just be that amazing. I'm going to be honest with you too. Like, I don't think we have that many running backs like that in the NFL no more. I think that there are certain what maybe Saquon Barkley, Saquon Barkley. I kind of look at that way. Derrick Henry's just a monster sized man, but I guess him too. Right. But outside of that, like, there's not a lot of guys where you knew, right? right? Like y'all knew the game plan was just run it, right? Like y'all knew mm-hmm. that it was give the ball to Adrian, right? Correct, correct. And it still seemed like on a on a time in time out, Nick Chubb, he was able to make it. I guess Nick. Uh, oh, you the, oh you didn't exhale. You've been waiting to exhale, Nick Chubb. Come on, there's the, Nick Chubb. I, hey. I, I love Nick Chubb, but is he is he a Saquon Barkley? I think he has exceeded what everybody believed that he probably could or could not have been. I agree you with know? that. I and agree and with that. and when you when you look at what the Browns do, you know they run him. They run and they run and they run and they play action off of him. Yeah, you know, and and he's consistent. We're talking about I, a guy that runs in between the tackles, he runs really hard, and he's he gets you those tough yards on a weekly basis. Nick Chubb's got to be considered one of the one of the top backs in in the NFL. Well, he's for sure one of the top backs top. in the NFL right now, a hundred percent. But I just think right, like for you don't me, think he's here's, here's he's the, Saquon ish. I don't think he's Saquon. I I think that there are certain backs that. Make me so with running backs for me, right? My rule is like if I build a really good offensive line, mm-hmm. I've seen the running back that wasn't supposed to be the Hall of Famer have really good seasons. I've seen the guy that comes after Walter Payton. I've seen the guy that comes after right some of those top running backs. And so yeah. I always focus on the line more. There's some guys that the line didn't matter. Adrian Peterson, the line didn't matter as much. Okay, so you're saying right now you would take Derrick Henry over Nick Chubb? He, right now it's tough because he's almost 30. Yeah, no, I'm still there. No, I'm still there. Mm-hmm. Derrick Henry's a monster. He, he's a, taking, yeah, he's yeah, a, yeah he, no, he, he is. He, he is, but if you, I, in, in my opinion, Nick Chubb's more consistent. Now, let me ask you this, though. Let me ask you this. The part that we've always talked about, though, is that it is Derrick Henry, even when the offensive line was mid, even when right like they haven't had great quarterback play. It is Derrick Henry like he's the reason that they're in games, they're winning games, stuff like that. If you give Derrick Henry a quarterback, that is at least. I don't know, top 15, top, you know, what I mean, like like what is like Derrick Carr? Right, like if you if you give Derrick Henry a uh, 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 a Deshaun Watson, a Derrick Carr, a Derrick Carr, I'll take a Derrick Carr with a Derrick Henry, the Derrick Derrick combo out here. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Derrick I squared out here. I I just I I feel like there's not that many running backs like how you guys went up against AP, where I can say the offensive line was terrible. Not terrible. I'm not gonna say that the offensive line wasn't the best in the NFL. Adrian okay. Peterson still was able to get 100, 110 yards a game. Um, I feel like Saquon Barkley went through that. That's why he had some of the injuries that he's had where he's trying to make moves, and the second he's going to make a move, he's making two moves behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they were also, I mean, they were getting the ball to him any which way possible. Yeah. Even when he's not running, there's a the, the pass route is designed for him in yeah. some way, shape, or form. He he touched the ball. He touched the ball, you know, 40, 50 times a game. It's, you're bound to, 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 to have some injuries. 
He he yeah, a hundred percent. And and I think that that's right, like the guy when you're the focal point of the offense and as a defend a defender, you know that's the focal point of the offense, and you still like, why is he going past me right now? Right? Great. Like I, I feel like there's not that many of those players. Now Derek Henry a little different. I guess I'll take Chubb in the in the aspect of in the passing game, different things like that. He could be a little bit more impactful. Derek Henry just going through you. Like, can you hey, was there did you play a running back like that? There wasn't a running back like that that you had to go up against, was there? Brandon like Jacobs. Derek Henry? Oh, that's true. Brandon Jacobs. Yeah, I forgot. Brandon Jacobs. Yep. Yeah. 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 What was that? Listen, like? you got you like? gotta you gotta remember, listen, we're in a we're in a different era now, you know. Uh, uh you know, and and is I you know I love Derrick Henry, but Derrick Henry is tall. You know, tall line, tall running backs. You know, linebackers get up under their chin. You know, they, that's high. That's high. It's it, you know, and back in the day when you had a lot of the, a lot of these thicker linebackers, the guys that were running in, they, you know, they they, they it was blood in the water. These, these and they're sharks, and these suckers yeah. are coming for nobody. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they they got nuts loose in the head. They're coming after Derrick Henry. You know, I just, you know, now that these linebackers are a lot smaller. They're a lot smaller. You can be pushing, they get pushed around a lot more. They're faster. But, um, uh, you know, so I, I, I would be, it would be interesting to see how he would have fared. You know, you look at like Steven Jackson. Steven Jackson had a, he had a good career, but it was, yeah. it was one of those shorter guys. You know, it was one of those shorter careers right after, um, 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 shoot, who, Marshall Falk. He was right there in St. Louis, right after Marshall Falk. You know, he had a lot of injuries too. You know, he had a lot of stuff that held him back, but he was a big target. He was, I thought he was taller than some of his linemen sometimes. You know, if you watched him when he was playing from those from those days. So, you know, the 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 tougher the tougher running backs for linebackers are the shorter ones. You know, the Frank Gores, you know, yeah. Nick Chubbs, you know, because that it's it just the 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 balance and and uh, um, the 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 balance and the power that they have at such a low stature, you know, it's it's harder to get it down. So you would rather see a Derrick Henry if you're on the opposite side of the field than somebody yeah. who's five easy nine, target. Five it's an easy target. It's an easy target. I remember. I remember playing against San Fran, and uh, they were running um, um, counters, but their counter was directly down at the at the center. Yeah. Um, and so when I was when I when I was uh, shuffling over, I'm like, I should see the running back right now. You know. You know. You have the expectation when you see most see the running back, and next thing you know, I just feel some you know some <laughs> air go right by my my feet and my 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 uh my hips. I'm like, dang it. You know what I mean? I could not yeah. even see him. He slipped right by me. Yeah. You know, and so it was, you know, he ran, you know, Frank Gore ran um, 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 that counter so well and so low to the ground that it was uh, it was hard to get a hold on him, hold of him. It's that's 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 interesting to think about. I guess you do see the smaller guys go further, but I it, in my mind, right, he's bigger. He he is a stronger guy, too. He He's very good with his stiff arm stuff like that, but just saying it's just because the linebackers are a lot smaller in today's game as well. They're not, you're not going to, he he's not stiff, stiff arming a Brian Erlacher off of him with Brian's weight at, at that time. Right, 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 right. You know, and, and you got to think about like how, how shifty, is a six foot three, six foot four running back. Yeah. You know, like I'm not worried about you shaking me, you know, so I'm not, you know, and, I, and even if I were, I'm not still not slowing down on my way over to, to, to this gap in between the tackles, you know, I'm headed here. I'm, I'm going to time this thing out when the, when the, when this big boy gets to this, this hole, we're going to see who's going to win. Is it going to be him or me? And it ain't going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> You heard it here first. Last Saturday, Kobe him. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Chicago Bears podcast. Somebody run that simulation in Madden. Uh, <laughs> I need to figure out if Lance head up with Derrick Henry, how that's going to go. I need somebody running that simulation. I haven't played, I haven't played it, but but I do hear my hit stick is pretty high, though. I remember my hit I, stick's I, up I, there. I, I'm not surprised. I used to be laying people out with your hit stick back in the day. That's <laughs> crazy. All right, we're going to get up out of here. Follow us on everything at ESPN Chicago or ESPN 1000. You can also listen five days a week on the ESPN Chicago app or wherever you get your podcast. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the page, drop a bear down, and let me know in the comments and let Lance know as well because these comments will go to Lance. Who y'all think's winning in that one-on-one -on -one matchup? Is Lance Briggs laying out Derrick Henry or is uh, Derrick Henry uh, laying the boom on Lance Briggs?
And let's make sure that we uh, we send uh, uh, J Mac to church next week or, or on his <laughs> podcast this week. All right. <laughs> Uh huh. Get the same team, the Vikings. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell him I said church. <laughs> hey, y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Bird on. <laughs> uh, there it is. <laughs>